this prediction that's right up here. Uh, or just yell at Larry Brooks like every other New York Ranger. Has. <laughs> mom, mom, mom. I understand don't make opinions based off the internet. And I understand just a tweet is a tweet. That's about it. But oh my God, Pavel Buchnevich scored for the St. Louis Blues. And I had the, and I saw so many people going, I'm not going to cry about this. I'm not going to cry. I don't want to watch. I don't want to watch. Shut the hell up. Really? Is everybody now a fan favorite? I mean, I remember when the Rangers lost Colin Blackwell in the expansion draft. That There were people saying, oh, well, the Rangers, uh, it's Colin Blackwell was a real good player. He played, like, he scored 12 goals. I want to say he played 27 games, but I'm not even sure if that's enough. Yeah. 12 goals. As I've said before, and I'll say it again, Daniel Gunneau had about the same numbers in his career as a New York Ranger, and 10 of that was in one season. So does that mean that he was the big, the big guy that was – the one that got away too, he never did anything else with the rest of his career. So it's just, and again, I, and again, I like Pavel Buchnevich. And it's just, I made this call from last year. The Rangers were in a situation, salary cap wise and development wise, where Pavel Buchnevich was probably going to have to go. You weren't going to keep Lafreniere, Kako, and Kratzoff on the third and fourth lines forever. What were you going to do? Coach Nevis really had one good season that made us all go, wow, this guy is really finally arrived and he's and he's really doing it. But instead, I mean, and you know what? He's deserving of admiration, but not so much to the point of, and, and again, I had that same reaction. I still don't like Glenn Anderson because Mike Gartner was my guy. He was at least a Ranger for five years, made the All-Star game, and in two of those seasons, just two of them combined. He had more goals than Pavel Buchnevich in his career as a New York Ranger. So can we all just take a grip? Because at the same time that I'm seeing fans that all want to go, oh, I'm so sorry, Booch is gone. You're killing Chris Kreider, and he's been on this team for eight years, nine years. And he's done a lot more. Did did, did Buchnevich score a goal to stave off elimination? Did Buchnevich, I mean, and, and again, I understand the, the, the disappointment of Chris Kreider, but you know what? Game five and game six versus the Capitals. There you go. He has an overtime goal to his win, okay, uh, to his credit. Butch, Butch doesn't have those memories. He was inserted into the lineup in 2017 and to, to kind of help them get past the Montreal Canadiens, but that was about it. I mean – Again, I like Pavel Buchnevich. I wish him nothing but the best in St. Louis. And if there was no Lafreniere, no Kratzoff, and yeah, the Kreider didn't sign the contract. But just, come on, guys. Is everybody going to be a fan favorite now? Are we going to have uh, are we gonna have a video tribute for Colin Blackwell when he comes back? Oh, showing, showing how he got empty net goals and tip-ins because he was playing with Panarin last year? Come on. Is is in and if, if I'm being off base, guys, throw it in the comments below. No, it, it's just not everybody's a fan favorite anymore. What? Come on, was it like that like, would be like if Anthony Anthony? Can you name a New York Islander that was hot for like a week that you're like, oh, hey, this guy's gonna be great, and then you heard nothing from him the rest of his career? Um, I mean, last one I could last one I could think of is probably like. Who? Mark Parrish. Uh, Mark Parrish, Mark Parrish, I think, was a better player than that. But I mean, yeah, but, Parrish, what, I'm, but what I'm saying is, Mark Parrish had that ridiculous October 2001. And yeah. he had the 2001 2002 season where he had 30 goals because of that ridiculous start. And he was never the same player ever again. And then, you know, we, I think that would be like the one guy I could think of where I'm like, okay, like he's a good player, but he's not a great player. And and I, I remember Islander fans kind of taking that loss kind of hard, you know. Brett Howden Knight, a real tearjerker. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, it's just guys, just everybody can't be oh a fan favorite. God. Yeah, I get you. I get your point. I mean. I guess with Bushnevich is a lot of the, the the trade didn't really make a lot of people happy, so I think that heightens the whole 
sensitivity to like when they whenever they see Buchnevich do something good with St. Louis now, they're gonna lose their minds and stuff. But yeah, you know. I, I, I get that. What was it this past week or was it the week before where I had the rant about the bar being set low? I think it was last yeah, week. Right? It was it, it was I think it was last week where the bar was set low. By the way, just to address this, Rich, you're right. I, I do it for the show, but I also wear my fandom on my sleeve too. So yeah, like like I, I see that's the thing, and, and we I know we talked about the. Oh, the... Sorry, I I was clicking this one. Uh, Molson was an Islander mm-hmm. player that disappeared yeah. afterwards. But that's the thing, though. You, you like, and that's why I said what I said because a lot of these fans are they're crying over Colin Blackwell, and they're crying over like, and I get it. Matsu Gorello was a little worse because Matsu Gorello actually played very well for this team for an extended period of time. Pro, I mean, you look at it, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Zuccarello was – and he was there for longer, but he he had six pretty good seasons with the Rangers. And I don't like the Butch Damage trade either. I ripped them for that, and I, I still think it's a bad trade. But the way that the fans are acting is like the sky is falling. Like, could you imagine – how social media, Ranger social media would have been had they been around for the Brian Leach trade when Brian Leach was traded. Oh, or, my goodness. Or, or, or when Mark Messier was let go to Vancouver in 1997. Or here's a better one because this would have really made every Ranger fan online irate. When they traded Adam Graves to San Jose – after a season in which his father and son died in the same week in the 2000, 2001 season. Like how, how would these fans have reacted back then? And then it's funny because the same fans that some of them, I should say, not all of them, but some of the same fans who were blasting Pavlovich Navich and talking all this crap about Sammy Blay, all of a sudden turn around and like, Oh, Sammy Blay. Now he looks like he's a pretty good player because he could, he could score a goal in front and then scoring a shootout like that. Like, and, God, and also, you didn't even give this guy a chance. And now all of a sudden you're, 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 you're flip-flopping on him because of a preseason game. Like, and also going back in, in, if you go back through our, our ridiculous. videos, the Buchnevich one actually got a, uh, a lot of views. And it originally started where I was trying to piece together why they got so little for Buchnevich. The and again, Sammy Blay. I like Sammy Blay. I've liked Sammy Blay all along. Moving on from that, when we had Marty Biron come on, Marty Biron was the guy that said, "Look, you're going to get less for a restricted free agent because you have to sign the player." That puts it all into perspective. So you're not getting Jack Eichel for the rights to Pavel Buchnevich, for no. instance. No, but it's just and apparently I think Anthony. Yeah, Anthony, Anthony I think in the back out or something. Oh uh, no! It's, you know we're we're starting to get to six thirty right now, and we're probably going to go uh, about another twenty minutes at the most. Uh, yeah. But again, it's it's just it, look again. It's great to have favorite players. Alexa Kovalev was traded away and and then traded back to the Rangers and then traded away again. So it's he's another one that you look over and go, oh, it's great. But I mean. I, I see some of these things online where guys are like, oh, uh, oh uh, my, my booch. Well, guess what? Players have to go sooner or later. I know there's going to be a day Chris Crowder leaves the New York Rangers. I had to watch Ryan Callahan with the Tampa Bay Lightning. I had to watch Brian Leach return as a Boston Bruin. I mean, it's, and obviously we, we all sat through Messier. And I was at Graves' return, by the way, um, when he came back with the San Jose Sharks. Yeah. yeah. And he had a goal. So again, yeah, I, again, I just I, the, the the reactions to these things just makes me just like I said, leads me to believe that the bar is set very, very, very low, and that's why when I, I laugh when people say stupid things like Messi was overrated, like are you kidding me? Stop, stop it. So, thank you. By the way, yeah, always, but, always, uh, and, and but by the way, Johnny Red brought up the ultimate. The, oh, the ultimate fan tribute of all time, which is Eddie Jockerman. Eddie, Eddie Jockerman, yeah. Eddie Jockerman, there was no social media. There was no. th- there was a five-day turnaround 
between him being acquired by the, the Detroit Red Wings and then being the New York Rangers, uh, playing against the New York Rangers, it's just, I, I, it, look, the Garter Crowd, and again, once a Ranger, always a Ranger, somewhat that follows. I mean, nobody's really reflecting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Joe, you're right about that. And I remember that too. Yeah, it's just and it's Oscar just... Winberg did nothing with the rest of his career. Yeah, but yeah, and in, yeah, he could have signed him to a bridge deal. You're right about that. But even at that, if you have Buchnevich on the team, what are you doing with Kratzoff? What are you doing with with Lafreniere? What are you doing? And I just totally Frenched out his name again. What are you doing with with Capo Caco? These guys need to grow. You what don't you... a plan. Here's the, here's the problem though. And, and, and I'll say it again. It, the Chris Kreider extension is the reason why Pavel Butchnevich is not here. That's it. That's it for what it comes down to. Because if Chris Kreider is not there, Pavel Butchnevich is your first line right winger with Alexi Lafreniere on your second, uh, on your uh, your top line left wing with Mika Zibanejad. Your second line is Panarin, Strom, and Kako or Kravtsov. And then your third line looks like Hedl, Goudreau, and crafts off there, I would say, or Kako, whichever one ends up sliding into that role. My question so, will be, is there enough sandpaper on that uh, in that lineup? I don't know. My question is, is there enough sandpaper from Chris Kreider on a night-to-night basis? Unfortunately, that's no. one of the criticisms I can't argue with. No, uh, yeah, by the way, that's the problem. And Johnny's right about this. They cheered the whole game for, De- for Detroit to win, and anytime Eddie made a save... But they also booed when the Rangers scored on Eddie. I believe it was Walter Kachuk that scored on Eddie and turned around and went, what the hell? I mean, and again, you know what, Matt? You're right about this one, too. Cam Talbot. There are Ranger fans that sounded like they we traded away John Van Beesbrook. And, uh, I, I don't I, – I remember the fans being annoyed and not getting enough for him, which I, I, I get it. They, I'm in agreement they, with that. I, I, I get it. They they didn't play that situation right. Um, that was, I believe, uh, Sather's last real folly, if you will. They just they kind of overplayed their hand on that, and that was it. But yeah, I I, I just I remember the fans were annoyed with that. And I'm totally fine with that because they didn't get enough. They really they could if they could have they could have played that more, considering that he had a year left on his contract. But they totally overplayed their hand and misplayed the market. Yeah. And again, and again, look, I'm, when I'm making this critique, I'm not making a critique against Pavel Buchnevich. I'm just saying, guys, there are, there are players that have done much more for the New York Rangers over the last, hell, we'll go with the last 10 years. Any, did anybody cry when we lost Derek Broussard? Derek Broussard went on to Ottawa and even scored a goal against the Rangers, a key goal in the 2017 playoffs. And fans were still not thinking, oh, my God, Derek Broussard. And since then, he's gone on uh, mixed reviews from when he's gone yeah. on and, and yeah. gone after that. I but mean, I, mean I, I don't know. It, it, it just – I'm not going to sit here and continue to slam Ranger fans for these overreactions. Oh, I'm not slamming it, it, Ranger fans. I'm just no. saying – and by the way, the worst part is oh, my, the viewer retention is going to be way down on this. And everybody's going to see me slamming Ranger fans and not realizing. No, it's just, just again, what's not set the bar so low for fan favorites. Because I, I, I agree with you. It, it just, it, it's a different time though. Uh, that That's the problem. I, 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 I honestly, I think the next wave of players is going to be the ones where we really get the fan favorites. Your Lafreniere's, your Kakos, your Foxes, your your Panarin. Obviously, I mean, those are the guys that those are the guys that you're really gonna you know make a big deal about when they start to leave. So, yeah. But let, let's let's move on and take some uh, some Q and A here because yeah, I know you wanted to go for like maybe another twenty minutes, but we we just took up. I would say probably close to 10 minutes right there with that. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry about that. By the way, am I wrong about fan favorites? Throw it down in the comments below. And also, by the way, there's one guy that scored 50 points that nobody cares about is going to be making his return to the garden this year with another sweater on. So I'll just leave it at that, that social media kind of doesn't talk fondly about him. So did you like the video? Of course you did. 
So why not check out some more of our content? You can check the playlist right here or right here. Your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter.